Hello everyone, my name is Uthris and welcome back to StarMate, where we are working on some uh, sort of fleet, I guess, or some roles to fill in a fleet. Uh, last episode we built this, this is our light fighter variant, and minor change from last episode was I forgot to add regen for the shields. So we had shields, but they couldn't fill up. So I had to remove the two vents here and put region blocks. I think it still looks okay because it kind of makes it look a little bit more tech. But there's still the back vent there for the heat dissipation. Uh, last episode two, uh, we kind of built the internals on camera. And I'm going to do the reverse this time. I already built the internals of the next ship. And this episode, we're just going to figure out armor and trying to make it look nice. Now, this is kind of a tough thing for me to do. But and it, and it takes a little while because sometimes I put too much armor on and sometimes I have to take off some and rework areas. But this is what we're working on this episode. This here is going to be a light bomber and it just shoots dumb fire missiles because it needs to fulfill a bomber type role. It's going to make sweeping passes at objectives and things like that. It has, well, it's currently seven meters long three meters tall and nine meters wide. So this one is going for the width and our fighter went for the length. So that's that's kind of the different, you know, pieces for that one. If I hop into creative mode here, I need to grab some hull blocks. And for our light fighters and bomber variants, we, we're just using light armor for simplicity's sake. Now our fighter is white and blue the bombers are going to be white and orange. Orange is kind of more of a, a, a bomber color, I guess, in my opinion. I don't know why I'm choosing that. So I need some glass as well. Also, the cockpit is going to be pretty forward-facing on the bomber. And in the fighter, it's about halfway in between. So we'll just go ahead and kind of start building here. After I turn on our symmetry plane, or YZ symmetry plane. And let's see, let's do that. Now the core, just like the fighter, is going to be white. And then the wing tips are going to be orange. So, just going to hop this down like so. And we'll need a slope block. They're gonna look fairly similar to each other. As they should, because this is kind of, you know, a, a matching fleet. Did I just pick up 9,999 items? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Um, let's go ahead and actually add this and just for, so we have a spot to actually put glass feel we need that little effect to happen. And now I just need a slip block for our little windscreen. There we go. So this nice little chubby thing is kind of what we're going for. Now I am going to leave internals exposed just like our other build. Um, How do I want to hook this up to the engine bay? This is kind of the, the tough thing to decide, how to cover your engines. And it can be a little bit of a challenge to do this correctly. Let's first, I think, put our angle blocks here and here. And I'm going to do another swept wing design. I don't even know if that's really the proper term for it. I really doubt it, but uh, I like I like using that word. So we'll go there to there, and this side. We'll do the underside slope as well. So we have a little bit of armor protecting those, and even need some connecting bits here. Let's do this. 
Gotta, gotta make it look like it's actually kind of connecting all together and is stable. So we'll do that and that. Mm. Don't want anything over here. No, maybe not. Maybe not. It's gonna be a little bit, probably more tanky than our fighter because bombers require a lot of room for their missiles and then their extra components. They're, they're a little bit more of a bulky kind of weapon. Let's get some mesh. Actually, no, not mesh. We need, oh, I took a screenshot. Um, let's see, we need scaffolding metal grill. There we go. Gonna cook up some hot dogs on the engines back here, I think. Now I can either do that and have this extra layer detail, which I think I'll do. I kinda like that look. And then we'll come over here, put the grills over the cannon bonuses for our missiles. It kinda just, I, I combine missiles and cannons because they will actually kind of, I guess they buff reload speed and things like that, but they lower the damage a little bit by doing so. So, um, that's something. Let's see, wow, it's really bright on down here. Let's do, I can do a metal mesh there. And I kind of like doing the whole, just one short thing. This is our landing gear. This is our one little uh, rail docker. Then we can do this on both sides. Grab more ventilation. We'll even do that there. So let's see. So this increased the width by, I think, two whole blocks. It's 11 meters wide now, eight meters long, and three meters tall. So it can take up kind of the same kind of spot. Uh, looks kind of whale. Looks kind of like a, maybe a stingray kind of design, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's all right. The exposed components is fine by me. Kind of wish I could do something here to kind of finish covering up the engines. What happens if I just put some grates just like that? Nah, doesn't look quite right. Uh, maybe just use the hull pieces. We'll try that. Just so it has a single kind of exposed engine. Does that look all right? Now, see that, that kind of gets rid of some of the cool effect of it all. It makes these things too pointy. You know, I think I'm fine with it just like this. Or maybe just do the interior side of it. We'll try that. Let's just do that. Keep that open. That's okay. Because I, I like it, it kind of just breaks up the area a little bit. Yeah, so... This here is our light bomber. And I named it, let's see, what did I name it? Again, let's go to ship. Nope, let's go to this. It is the LB-R1 light bomber. LB, of course, for light bomber. R1, uh, those are the two things I chose. I don't really mean anything. I'm terrible with ship names. And if you guys have anything better, please let me know. This thing, uh, its to total stats in terms of structure hit points is 5,325. It has uh, 2,950 armor and it has 959 shields, the exact same amount as our fighter actually. 26 thrust to eight mass ratio. So it's a little bit slower than the fighter, but that's fine. 
it, it's not really meant to be super, super agile. It's just supposed to do some light bombing runs for us now. I'm gonna do some quick passes on this asteroid, just so you guys can see kind of the weapons. Boom. So, I don't know how well you can see that because we're on the dark side. This is kind of a really dark game. Ooh, that's kind of loud. Um, but yeah, they do all right. If I go to our weapons menu, we have a 1653 damage missile on each side of the ship. It's dumb fire. Uh, it has a range of 3,200 meters. It reloads in about 10.3 seconds. And it consumes 8,004. So about 19,000 power total every shot. That's why the ship's also a little bit more bulky. Missiles consume a lot of power. And so I had to put a lot more power generators in this thing to compensate for that. And even then, it doesn't recover its full amount in time. But it is fairly agile, and I will show you kind of, I guess we can blow up the X1, just to see what it looks like. So it pretty much took out its full shield in, in a shot. Of course it's going to do that. Um, the X1 only has about a thousand shields. So this next shot should do some hull damage, and it does. And it'll regen a little bit of a shield each time. And missiles aren't perfect against shields. But it took out its regen. So at this point, it essentially has no shields at this point in time. The, um, the role that I want this thing to fill is, of course, we're going to have a wing of light fighters, the X1s. Four X1s and one of these, um, bombing would be pretty good I would think at taking out maybe the large ship that would be in a battle you could use them to take out say their turrets um, or take out small targets in areas and of course you can bring more bombers if you need to but sadly I mean you had to find a lot of people with this game in my opinion to make it a whole lot of fun to do large ship battles I, I would love to see like 100 on 100 fulfilling different roles and things like that but i don't know if we'll ever get to see that with this game as it is a java pretty sure coded game so it is not very efficient at multiplayer which is a shame but yeah we destroyed the x1 in a couple shots it's really it's pretty good you know for for a light bomber variant and let's see we're about 12 minutes in this this didn't take nearly as long as I thought because usually I kind of struggle with putting the armor on but I suppose since we already did one I kind of followed the same format to make them match so I'm gonna go ahead and I guess in the episode here but first I'm gonna spawn in some other variants just to show you kind of what it looks like within a wing of ships because it, it just looks nice to do this kind of thing so let's see, we need to, uh, admin load, okay, admin load, okay, admin load, okay, admin load, okay. We actually need to save this ship now. So to the ship, go to catalog, and we will save blueprint the LB-R1, that's RA, it's not the sun god. Though it is orange, it could be the sun god thinking about it so we can just park this thing right about there get out sure it's in a little bit of a straight line formation but that's not bad you can kind of see how it looks and scale to the other things anyways i guess it's going to be a little bit of a short episode for starmate today go ahead if you guys like the video subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness go ahead and check out my other videos for cool builds uh, leave a comment down below on what you would like me to build next, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.